The king prepared a wedding feast for his son and sent for the invited guests. He sent them once, then a second time. However, the guests did not come due to the concerns of life. One went to his field, another to his business. A new invitation was sent to others, and the wedding hall was filled. Among the guests there was one who was not dressed in a wedding garment, and because of this, he was cast out. The meaning of the parable is clear. The wedding feast is the kingdom of heaven, the invitation is the preaching of the gospel. Those who refuse the invitation are the unbelievers, and the one without a wedding garment is a believer without a life in accordance with faith. Each person should judge which group they belong to. That we are invited is clear. But do we believe? Again, it is possible to be counted among the believers in name but, in reality, be without faith. Some do not think about faith at all and thus have none, while others know something about faith and are satisfied with that. One distorts the faith, and another is hostile toward it. Yet, all consider themselves Christians, even though there is nothing truly Christian in them. If you believe, examine whether your feelings and actions align with your faith, that is, the spiritual garment by which God sees you as either dressed or undressed for the wedding feast. It is even possible to know the faith well and to have zeal for it, yet in life, serve the passions, or to clothe oneself in the shameful garments of a sin-loving soul. Such people have one thing on their lips, but another in their hearts. On their tongue, they say, Lord, Lord, but inwardly, they say, Excuse me. Reflect whether you are truly in the faith, and especially, whether you are dressed in the wedding garment of virtues or in the shameful rags of sins and passions.